welcome back to my channel. It's a girl city. Today's video is going to be the part 3 of our best of 2018. And I'm so sorry if I was not able to post this in time for the new year. But gagawin ko pa rin siya kahit we're almost done with the first week of January. Kasi na promise ko siya and gusto ko rin kasi talagang i-share sa inyo yung mga naging favorite kong products or yung mga product na nag-stand out for me during the past year. Nandito sila ngayon sa maliit na basket na to. So, kung interested kayo malaman kung ano-ano yung mga nandito, then just keep on watching. I think I'll start with the bronzers kasi dalawa nga lang sila. Ito yung bronzer na ginamit ko nung simula ng taon bago ko nahanap or majority ng taon actually bago ko nahanap yung susunod na bronzer na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung bronzer na nasa e.l.f. Total Face Palette Alam ko, napakita ko na rin sa video. Ginamit ko siya before sa tutorial ko on a rainy day makeup look. Ganon. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, I'll link it up here or down there para makita nyo rin. Ganda ng bronzer na to if you have light to medium skin tone. It's very subtle on the skin. It looks natural. It looks healthy. And I like na nasa parang palette na siya kasi nung time na yon or nung first half ng taon, Ito yung ginagamit ko na all-in-one face palette. Yung highlight dito, so, subtle din. Kaya, it goes with the parang subtle vibe kapag ginagamit ko itong palette na to. Yung next bronzer naman na ipapakita ko, ito yung bronzer na after ko siyang i-review, ito talagang ginagamit ko on a daily basis. Like, pag pupunta ko ng office, ito talaga yung gagamitin ko. I'm talking about the Vice Cosmetics na Aura Contour in For Sure. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung review video ko nitong Aura Cheek Collection, please watch it kasi isa yun sa pinaka pinaka happy akong gawin na review kasi everything that I tried are really good. They showed up on my skin really nicely. They are easy to blend. The formula is really smooth. I like all of them. And itong bronzer na to, sobrang stand out siya for me kasi ang perfect niya for my skin tone. It gives me that warmth that I need para hindi ako mukhang flat or hindi mukhang pale na pale yung itsura ko. Kaya gusto, gusto ko to. Sobrang dali niya din gamitin. Hindi siya powdery at all. Unlike other local brands na pag tap mo ng brush mo, lumilipad yung mga powders. Ito hindi. Very minimal yung fallout. I suggest that you pick up Vice Cosmetics na Aura Contour and you would not regret it kasi ang ganda talaga nito. Now for powder blush, I would say say na narekindle ko yung love ko for powder blushes. Medyo latter part na ng 2018 kasi I was using lip tints on my cheeks. For sure, narinig nyo na or nakita nyo na to ng maraming beses dito sa YouTube kasi feeling ko isa sila sa mga cult favorite pagdating sa affordable products sa local scene. Yung tinutukoy ko is itong Caroline Oil Control Blush On. Ito yung shade na peach glow pero meron akong tatlo nito. Hindi ko mahanap yung dalawa. For me, starlight shine pairs with anything na ilagay mo sa mukha mo. Kahit anong color sa eyes, kahit anong color sa lips, it just goes very well. And meron siya mga tiny specks ng um, shimmers. It looks as if you're already wearing highlighter kasi ang ganda, ang healthy ng glow niya. Sobrang love ko yung Caroline na Starlight Shine. And the best thing sa blush ons na to, 90 pesos each lang sila and madaling hanapin. Yung powder naman ito, it's not the smoothest of course, but yung color niya or yung pigmentation niya, yung color payoff niya is really good. Hindi mo aakalain na 90 pesos lang yung blush mo. If you are a teenager or just starting out with makeup, you might wanna pick up one of this kasi maganda silang starter para sa mga nagtitipid or sa mga nagsisimula pa lang sa makeup. And I love them and I also highly recommend them. Yung next blush naman na ipapakita ko is in a duo pero mabibili nyo din siya separately sa mga Everbelen na counters. Ito yung EP Advanced Blush Duo and Baked Fig. Ito yung itsura niya. As you can see, gusto, gusto ko rin yung bronzer na to. Pero hindi ko na siya sinama dito sa list kasi um, as far as I know, paste out na tong product na to. So, hindi mo na mabibili tong bronzer na to. Si Big Fig kasi is sold separately. Meron sila ng mga parang uh, ganitong itsura din ng blushes pero nasa color black na lalagyan. So, available pa si Big Fig. Kaya, siya na lang yung sinama ko sa list na to. Si Big Fig is so 
nice. It's a dusty, parang muted pink na color. It's siya yung nagsusumigaw na blush. I, as you can see, muted siya. So, it's just a nice flush of color on your cheeks. It's also really easy to blend on the skin. It's one of those blushes that I feel like will look good on any skin tone. Kahit morena ka, kahit maputi ka, or nandut ka sa gitna, okay na okay siya. Para sa akin, si Baked Pig, hindi siya yung blush na parang may season lang na ito pang summer ka lang or ito pang this time of the year ka lang. Ito parang all year round magagamit mo siya kasi ang ganda ng color. It blends really nicely on the skin and okay na okay siya sa maraming complexion. If you guys can find Baked Pig sa mga Everbilan na counters, please do. But if you can still find itong mga nandito sa parang blush duo na to, you can also pick them up kasi maganda for 220 pesos itong dalawang to. Meron ka ng bronzer and ng blush and okay na okay. I really hope they would come out with something similar to this or ibalik nila but with a better color selection or parang mas maganda yung formula because I would love to buy them again. Yung next product I feel like will not come as a surprise kasi nung nireview ko sila sobrang nagustuhan ko talaga sila and ginagamit ko din sila everyday. These are the Vice Cosmetics blushes. Meron ako ng shade Shala and Twinner pero as the day goes by, mas na love ko si Shala kasi ang ganda niya sa skin. And guys, alam nyo ba itong si shade na Shala? Natuklasan ko. Wow. Natuklasan ko na sobrang similar as in spot on dupe siya ni California from Benefit. Let me just get it. So, ito si Benefit. Ayan si California, yung nasa middle. Tapos, ito si Vice Cosmetics. As you can see, super similar. Sa screen, parang mas orangey si Shala. But once na naswatch nyo na siya and she near out nyo, the same product. Promise. Pareho silang may mga tiny specks of glitters. Ayan. Kapag she near out nyo na siya sa skin, wala sila halos difference. I'm wearing California right now on my face. And si California is pagka mahal-mahal, nasa 1,000 pesos yung nasa single niya. Pero si Vice Cosmetics na Aura Blush and Shala is 145 pesos. So, san ka pa best, di ba? So, dito ka na lang kay Vice Cosmetics kung hindi mo ma-afford si California or kung hindi mo naman bet na bumili kay Benefit. Kasi si Benefit hindi siya cruelty free pa. So, ayan, kay Vice Cosmetics ka na lang and it will give you the same effect. These are local products, so if you want to support local, then go ahead, pick them up. I love them a lot. Now, on to the last blush naman na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Ito yung blush na binili ko kasi it was recommended by Ate Mimi of Coffee and Sparkle. So, I love her a lot and I trust her opinion. Kaya, ayan, pumili ko nito. Ito yung favorite din niya na Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. Sobrang pigmented ng product na to guys. Hinay-hinay besh kapag ginagamit na to kasi magiging pakak na pakak yung blush nyo kapag napasobra kayo. Although it's blendable, madali naman siyang i-share out kapag napasobra or patungan nyo na lang ng powder pag napasobra. Ang dami nito, ang tagal nyong mauubos to kasi yun, ganun siya ka-pigmented. Tapos ang laki niya, ang dami naman. They're just one of the nicest formula ng blush sa drugstore kasi ang ganda, ang smooth ng powder tapos ang ganda ng pigmentation and for the price, it's unbeatable for me. Did not regret buying this and I trust Ate Mimi's opinion and she was right. I love this as well. Highly recommend this to you guys. We're done with blushes. Doon naman tayo sa highlighter and you guys know, this is my favorite category kasi gusto, gusto ko talaga yung highlighting. As you can see, I'm wearing a highlighter right now. I think I'll just begin with the one I'm wearing right now. Ito yung highlighter na masasabi kong all-time favorite ko. Mapa high-end man yan, mapa drugstore man yan, or sa mid-range. Ito talaga yung binabalik-balikan ko. This is actually my second one. Ito yung Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in 10 Be My Highlight. Ito yung itsura niya. It's a baked highlighter na subtle on the skin. Kapag sinuot mo, parang basa or wet looking lang yung skin as you can see here. Ayan, ang ganda-ganda niya. 
Itong product na to, you can even dust this all over your face and hindi ka magmumukhang parang glittery mess. No, it's gonna give you a nice glow na parang glow from within. Kaya gusto, gusto ko siya. Pero kung ikaw yung tipo na gusto mo yung parang blingy highlight or metallic highlight, hindi siya para sa'yo or magiging parang underwhelming siya kung sanay ka sa mga ganong tipo ng highlight na sobrang intense. Kasi ito parang nice sheen lang. Glow from within. Ganon. Yung parang wet look lang. Galing ka sa gym. Pinawisan ka lang habang nag-workout. Ganon yung effect niya. Kaya gusto gusto ko siya. Meron akong review nito comparing this to the Sony's Face the Glow Boss. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, I'll link a card or put it down there para mapanood nyo. Ito, Late ko na siyang na-discover, pero it's easily one of my favorite pagdating sa sheer or parang um, subtle highlight. Kung gusto mo yung parang glass skin effect or parang dewy-dewy yung finish na, I suggest that you go for this. Ito yung feeling ko na okay sa mga bagets kasi madali siyang hanapin. It's in a stick form. Kung gusto mo naman maging intense siya, you can also build it up. Which is one of the qualities na nagustuhan ko dito sa highlighter na to. And nasa 199 pesos lang siya. One thing that you have to take note of though, kailangan mo siyang i-blend nicely on the skin kasi yung undertone niya may pagka-bluish white. So, ayun lang. Pero other than that, okay na okay itong product na to. Madali siyang gamitin. It's in a stick form. So, okay din siyang bitbitin and sa mga bagets na gustong matuto mag-highlight. So, ayan. Ito yung option ko for you guys. We are done with subtle highlights. Doon naman tayo sa mga highlights na metallic or parang um, blingy yung highlight, yung intense, ganon. So, isa sa mga na-discover ko nung ni-review ko is itong AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. Ito yung shade na snap. Ito yung itsura niya. It's also a baked highlighter. For some reason, I like baked highlighter more. Yung iba, hindi sila gusto kasi medyo parang may pagkatigas. Pero para sa akin, okay lang yung formula niya. Ito yung snap. Not sure if you could see. Pero yun, golden champagne si Snap. For one dollar, guys, pakap na tong highlighter na to. Ang ganda niya sa skin, ito, pwede mo din siyang going subtle. Isi-sheer out mo lang siya. Pero kung gusto mo ng highlight na palaban, pwedeng pwede to si Snap. Ang ganda-ganda niya on the skin. And for one dollar, nagbulat ako kasi hindi siya glittery at all. Wala siya mga chunky glitters na nakaka-emphasize ng pores. Medyo may pagka-powdery lang siya. Konting-konti lang naman. Pero hindi siya mahirap gamitin at all. And it looks so good on Filipina skin tone. Especially itong shade na Snap. Isa to sa mga gems na na-discover ko for 2018. For local highlighter naman, na-shocked ako sa highlighter na to. Kasi nung kinumpare ko siya dun sa Fenty Beauty na highlighter ko, which is also a favorite of mine, kaso hindi siya affordable. Ito yung tura niya. Nung kinumpare ko yung swatch niya, nagulat ako at how close they look. Ito yung Ever Belena Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Strobe. Ito yung itsura ng pinaka-packaging niya. Ayan. Ito si Strobe. Ito yung para sa light complexion. Pero for my skin tone, medyo mas golden pa siya ng kaunti. Pero gustong gusto ko to, kapag gusto mo yung talagang pakak na pakak pang event na highlighter, ang ganda nito, di ko siya ginagamit for everyday kasi for me ito yung highlighter na pang malakasan. Like the Fenty Beauty one, I also don't use this on a daily basis. It compares to Fenty Beauty and for 299 pesos, that's a steal. We are almost done. Actually, we're on the last product na. Isa na lang to. Kung napanood nyo nga yung review ko, ito talaga yung... And for the price na 145 pesos, besh, panalo tong product na to. Hindi mo aakalain na 145 pesos lang siya. Tapos kapag nasa skin na siya, very blingy, very metallic palaban yung binibigay niya sa yung glow. One of the best talaga siya of 2018. Yun guys, wala na laman yung basket ko, which means that's the end of this video. 
if you decide to pick them up, let me know. Itag nyo ako sa Instagram just in case. Natutuwa talaga ako pag sinasabi nyo sa akin na binili nyo or nagustuhan nyo din yung mga na-recommend ko. It's really nice and I would love to know kung ano rin yung mga favorites nyo blushes, highlight, bronzer for the year of 2018. And that's it. Thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. 